Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get started using the crypto exchange Btrex. So Btrex is a online crypto exchange, so you can buy, sell and exchange your various crypto or altcoins. It's not quite as big as an exchange such as uh, Polonix, which is one of the you know biggest and um, most popular exchanges uh, in this kind of realm. But Bittrex is quite good for new upcoming altcoins. So what you tend to find is that coins are listed on Bittrex, the new coins are tend to be listed on there before they hit the other bigger exchanges such as Polonix. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is effectively get started with it. Okay, so I'm just going to log into Bittrex. Um, I'm not gonna go through the actual sign up process. It's really very simple. All you need is a email address and password. You don't need to enter very much more personal information uh, than that, it's a very simple sign up. So let me log in. Okay, and once you've logged in, the basic interface is gonna look a little something like this. Okay, so in order to start trading with Bittrex, uh, we need to deposit some funds to our actual account. So from the tabs at the top, if we click on wallets, and this will show us our all the wallets that are available in Bittrex and also the ones that we currently have uh, balances for. So you can see this checkbox which is hired at zero balances. I'll just give you an idea of the uh, all the different wallets that you can have. So there's a whole bunch of them right here, but there's actually a lot more than that. If you're looking for a specific uh, wallet that the actual um, exchange supports, uh, you can use the search box on the right hand side. Um, use that to search whatever um, coin that you're trying to find. And um, if I go to hide zero balances, I'll just check that. So basically it clears up the whole interface and just shows you the uh, coins that actually have a balance. So you can see I've got Digix, Idenia Goras, Bitcoin and Byteball. So I've got the four there. So let's assume that we want to deposit uh, Bitcoin and you can deposit uh, virtually any coin that the, the, is on the actual exchange itself. So it could be Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, etc. Uh, what you would need to do is find the coin that you want to use. In this case, we're going to be using Bitcoin. And then if we click on the actual plus box, it will give us a uh, deposit address that we can actually use for depositing funds to the exchange. So you can see this is a Bitcoin address. We will just select that. Copy that. And then we can send that or use that in our Bitcoin wallet, for example deposit funds to that address and then after a certain amount of required confirmations those funds would then be upon or integrated into the Bittrex uh, exchange that we can use. So that's how you deposit funds into your account. So your Bitcoin balance would then be updated. You can see you've got this available balance, you've got any pending deposits in this box here. Reserved is when you uh, put money on a order and then it basically is held um, until the order is cancelled or it completes. So that's what that box is for, and then you've just got a total amount there. So just before I continue on as well, whilst we're in this uh, particular area, I might as well show you the actual withdrawal process, which is um, very similar to the deposit uh, situation. So previously we clicked on the plus box to deposit. To withdraw, you click on the minus, and then you want to enter the address that you're actually withdrawing to, so it'll be the Bitcoin address, how much you want to withdraw, or you can use the box there to basically select all of the available amount. You're gonna get a transaction fee and a withdrawal fee. Uh, you will then also uh, need to verify the actual transaction uh, via email or two-factor authentication if you have that set up. So that's the actual depositing and withdrawing uh, on Bittrex. What I'll show you now is how to actually use uh, buying and selling on the actual uh, markets. On Bittrex, you have uh, two main markets. One is a US dollar Tether market, and it's also a Bitcoin market. So I'm gonna be showing you the Bitcoin market. So if you click that, you'll get um, a drop down box and it will show you, depending on how you have it configured. At the moment, I've got it sorted by volume and uh, free rows. Uh, we can show you some of the other coins that are supported. There's actually, Btrex actually supports uh, many coins. So once again, if you can't find the coin that you are looking for, uh, use the search box and uh, just type it in there. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find it. Uh, I'll show you how to do a trade using uh, BitShares. So the symbol is BTS. So I'm just gonna click on that actual symbol.
and then it's going to open a, and show the actual trading window for BitShares. So on the right hand side you can see the last price, the day's volume, the bid, the ask, and the highs and the lows. And to the left you've got a chart and obviously you can adjust the actual time frame that it shows and it just shows you a candle uh, chart of um, the price throughout the, the period of time that you've um, selected. You can use the uh, drop down box, so if we can change it to a week for example, you can see how the price has changed. Um, not for the week but it's actually a week schedule so each bar represents uh, one week. If I just show you a day view, you can get another view there um, as well. So if I go to, uh, I think it's 30 minutes, that was the default. So that's the actual um, chart sort of uh, section there. I'll now show you how to uh, purchase or sell uh, bit shares. So you're going to be using these two boxes kind of in, in the center, and I'll explain what each one of them does. So on the left hand side you've got this trade in there and then you've got buy bit shares. So in this box here you would actually um, enter the price that you're willing to pay for your bit shares um, amount. And just before I go to that let me just explain the order book um, underneath here. So on the right hand side you've got the asks. So these are basically all the people that are selling on bit shares. So you can see the top one is this person has got um, 9,000 and 48 available, so the, the amount is always um, changing of course. And this person or this group of people is asking for this amount here. So they are basically the, the cheapest set order. Those people are selling bit shares and they want this price. On the left hand side you have these are the buyers. So it starts, it's sorted in order. So you have the people that are buying, uh, the, the amount that they are buying and also their maximum bid price. So on the left hand side these are all the people that are buying and their maximum bid price. Somewhere in between you're going to have all the people that are selling and all the people that are buying and there's going to be a price differential uh, between them. But normally it's been, it'll be quite close. So going back to the trading, so buy bit shares. So let's assume, we'll look at the price uh, the cheapest price there is 11109, the highest bid price is 10990. So you can see there's a slight difference. So if we actually uh, select this, it will actually update our actual bid price and then we can kind of work from there if you like. You can do it different ways. So let's just say we want to buy 10 bit shares. I'm not too sure what the minimum is, so I'm not too sure whether this will uh, complete. And the bid price that we want is just slightly higher than and the maximum bid price in here. So I'm just going to go one Satoshi higher. So we're going 10991, whereas it's 10990. Okay. Then you've got a limit order and you've got good till cancelled. So we're just going to leave those as we are. And then we're going to select buy bit shares. You'll get a confirmation with all the details. And we want to click confirm. So you can see our order has just popped up just at the top there. It has a little star just to confirm that it's our actual order. So I'm just going to leave that for a few minutes and see whether the order completes. That order will sit there effectively until someone sells to us at the price that we've set or we cancel the order. Uh, while that's sitting there, I'll just show you as well. If you actually want to um, effectively create an immediate purchase what you would need to do is buy at the the asking price of the other person. So I'll just show you how that works now. If I actually click on it, so as before we've got 10 bit shares. The buy price is the same as this ask price. Now if we actually go buy bit shares now, what will happen is it will be basically a, a immediate transaction because we're effectively buying from this person ready to sell at that current price. So I'll actually uh, do that now just to sort of show you how that works. Maybe I'll just reduce it to, to five bit shares just for the example. And we're gonna go buy. Actually we're not, I'm gonna just stop it just there. Just to show you, literally I was, as well, I was just about to buy our previous uh, order completed. So I'm just gonna cancel that. So let me show you further down now. So we would have had this open orders in here, um, but that's all completed now. But if we go further down, we've got the market history. So this is all the trades that are currently happening all the all of the time. 
And then further down at the bottom, we've got this My Order History. So you can see here we've purchased 10, and we purchased them for this price. So we are now going to have uh, 10 BitShares in our account. So you can see this is updated. We now have the sell BitShares. We now have 10 BitShares in our account. So now what I'll show you is how to actually sell the BitShares now that we've purchased them. Okay, so buying and selling is very much, uh, very much the same uh, for either side, pretty much. So we want to sell bit shares, and we're going to sell the whole ten. So we can see these are the other asks. So these are all the sellers. Um, so if we want to be kind of in with a good chance of selling quickly, we want to sell under this price, or we can sell for the highest bid price, which is over here. So these are all the buyers, and these are all the sellers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sell order in and we're probably going to sell just slightly under these other guys, maybe only just by one Satoshi. Uh, what I'm going to do is all, we've already selected 10. I'm just going to click this so it just updates the price. Um, someone's actually sort of dropped under. So I'm going to sell for 11.086, which will be just under that price. Um, and so on. the price is falling quite rapidly now. So I'm just going to do 80 just to kind of get this completed and show you. And I'm going to sell built shares. So same as before, just to confirm all the details, 10 at 11.080 is the price and confirm. So you can see this is our sell order here with the little star. Just to show you as well, the um, this is your open orders. So from here you can see all the open orders for the particular um, coin that you're buying and selling with. And um, if you use the X, you can cancel the pending order itself. Um, with these, the actual fees um, are normally not applied until the actual um, order is executed. So if you place an order and then cancel it, there'll be no fees applied. You can see the price is dropping away um, and reducing now. So it doesn't look like our order is going to be filled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this current sell order. And by the way, this is just a demonstration on how to use the site. This is obviously not a, not a, not a great trading example. You want to be uh, making a profit, not a loss. But you know, just for demonstration purposes, that's that's all this uh, video is is for. So what I'm going to do is we've got the sell bit shares. We're going to sell the whole amount we're holding of ten. And we're just going to select the highest bid order at the time, which is 10871. So that updates 10872. I'm going to sell bit shares, confirm. Oh, sorry, I just need to do, change that to max. Just where I clicked on it, it actually updated the um, total bit shares to 13, and we only actually had 10. So now I'm going to sell bit shares. 10876. Obviously, these uh, amounts are always change. Depending on which market you is, they will change either very quickly or slowly, depending on the volume of the market. Slightly more there. Okay, let's go with that. 10834. I'm gonna confirm the transaction. So it's gonna place the order and it's completed the order because there's a buyer ready and waiting at that particular price. So if you go further down now, we can see our transaction history. So not a great example. So we had the buy here, we purchased 10 at 10.0991, and then later on we sold at 10.0834. So obviously we made a loss on that particular transaction. But like I say, it was really just to show you um, as a demonstration really. Uh, just going back to markets, you can see other various markets. If I just sort them by volume, you can see popular markets such as uh, AntShares or Sirecoin. And it's very much the same situation. So all the same sort of layouts, uh, just obviously your um, people that are selling, the price is going to be different, except, and also for the buyers um, also. But the layout and everything else is um, all exactly the same.
Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching. Like I say, it's just a brief introduction to using Btrex, the online crypto exchange. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave those in the comments area below and I'll be sure to get back to you and help out as best I can. Till next time guys, thanks for watching, take care.